dog. If you can see this cord, I'm sorry. I don't know if you can. I can't see the viewfinder. Um, it's Monday. It's Monday and I am going to Chadston. Why am I going to Chadston? I don't know. Well, I do know. Um, I think it's crazy to go to Chadston for any other reason than absolutely needing to go to Chadston, which I kind of do. Um, I don't like Chadston. Chadston is a nightmare in my opinion, but I need to go to the bank and there are banks closer to me than Chadston, but Chadston has a coin counting or coin sorting machine and I'm going to insert a photo here of um, <laughs> a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Don't do this to yourself. Um, I bought a huge money box and over the last six months I have been putting my coins in there. Um, I don't like to spend my coins. It, they annoy the shit out of me. They weigh down my wallet. Um, so I just put them in that tin and I noticed the tin was full. So I opened it up and tipped everything out and literally have so many coins that I can't physically carry them. So um, I'm taking them to the bank and I will deposit them into my bank account. I'll be interested to see how much money is there. I didn't count them because I can't be fucked. Um, so I'm going to Chadston. I also want to go to Kmart, Target and Kmart. I also want to go to Daiso and get some brush cleanser. So that's why I am going to Chadston because they are all in the one building. Um, what else has been happening? Yesterday was a very... <laughs> yesterday was a bastard. Um, Mum and I and my two nephews decided to do a weekend market. And we went to the market with the car our other car, not this car, and a trailer full of stuff. And when I got there and we pulled into our spot, I noticed I hadn't pulled up in the spot properly. So I started the car to move it forward and the car wouldn't start. And first thing we did was check the battery because it sounded like that was the issue. And there was, there's actually a, a well, I don't know, if you don't know this, I'll just fill you in. In the battery, there is a well where water goes and it helps to keep the battery charged. We checked that, it was low, so we topped it up and we let the car sit, hoping that it would build a charge. Gets to the end of the day when we are ready to leave and the car still won't start. So we get a jump start. The car still won't start. So we decide that the battery is completely dead. We go and, or I go, I walk to the petrol station, which isn't too far away, but when you're carrying a, a car battery that weighs a ton, um, it feels like a very, very long way. Went and got a car battery. That set me back $180. Um, put the car battery in. The car still won't fucking start. So we're like, right, we just can't fix this. Um, we're going to get a tow truck. So we order a tow truck. And the guy, the guy was great. No joke, he was fantastic. He got there within, it probably took him about an hour and a half. And I've actually waited for a tow truck for three hours before. So I was really pleased that he showed up fairly promptly. Um, and considering that he was coming from Dandenong all the way to Laverton, I think he did quite well. Um, so the tow truck gets there and he says, will the car start? Like, can we, um, you know, I don't know. I think he wanted to um, move it closer to the, the truck or I don't know. Anyway. Maybe he just wanted to, like, hear what the car was doing. So I show him what the car's doing, and he goes, straight away, that is your alternator. He's like, I can hear it. It's your alternator. It's fucked. And it's kind of funny, like, 
People who know about cars, all it takes is for them to hear it. And generally they know what the problem was. And he said, you know, this is something that you can fix yourself. But if you don't have the part, then obviously you're up shit creek. So we were up shit creek. But he loaded the car on. He put the trailer on because he was going to tow that home for us as well. Um, but we didn't have the... The connection for our trailer and his truck were different. So we actually had to leave it at the market and we'll pick it up next week. Um, when I got home, mum and my two nephews caught a cab home when the truck got there because we wouldn't all fit in the truck. And when we got home and I told mum the debacle with the trailer, she said, oh, that's, that's annoying because the connection that we have on there is actually an adapter. And if you just take the adapter off, it turns it into a normal round connection. So I was just like, fuck, fuck my life. Anyway, we got home and it was great. Um, the tow truck driver, I've got to give props to tow truck drivers because they know exactly what they're doing. Like they are absolutely brilliant at their job. They maneuver those trucks so well. They know how to maneuver the car, even if it won't go. Um, he managed to parallel park it for us off the truck. How he did that, I have no idea. Well, I kind of do. It was like gravity and all that shit. Anyway, um, so that happened and that was an expense. Not too bad, actually. It was a lot cheaper than my last tow truck. Oh, and look what's next to me, a tow truck. Um, yeah, it was cheaper than my last tow truck experience, so that was good. So this week I've got to get the car fixed. Um, that's alright. We have a good mechanic. Um, what else happened? Yesterday Kat messaged me and told me, or she sent me a message with a photo of another message that she received, where we were basically being called racists um, on it the Sephora rant video that we did and this was the one that was on her channel um, and we couldn't really like it actually went to her spam folder so she wanted to what we both wanted to watch the video before she approved the comment um, and eventually we both got home we watched it and we approved the comment because we felt that they were taking what we were saying way out of context and overnight, um, or in the morning I wake up and there's a message from Kat saying um, I deleted her, I blocked her, all that jazz because she had left like six new messages on the, the video or six new comments and I checked my emails um, shortly after reading that message from Kat, there were 19 responses from her. 19. And I was just like, wow, that's crazy. Um, and it pissed us both off. And I think we were both having a, not a shit day. I mean, it sounds like I had a shit day. I know Kat was at work. She didn't want to be there. Um, but we just... Like, it's not something that you want to deal with on a day that's not the greatest day of all the days in your life. So, that was a thing. Um, I don't even know if those comments are still on the video. I would, I think Kat said she deleted it because it was totally out of hand. Um, and I don't blame her. So, yeah, that was a great, great way to start um, a Monday morning. Uh, and another thing happened on Saturday night. I was flossing my teeth before I went to bed and one of my fillings popped right out of my tooth. <sighs> Fucking nightmare. So somehow I have to um, find time to go to the dentist this week and get that filled because it's not something that I'm really comfortable with not taken care of. Um, I'm also extremely fucking annoyed that that happened because I only had that feeling done like 
maybe a year ago, a year and, no, it's going to be about a year and a half ago, um, and, like, fillings are expensive, and, yeah, I'm shitted off about that, so, I'm going to go have that done, fuck shit, I think I've come to the wrong fucking, fuck, yeah, wrong entrance. I need to park near Westpac. I hate this. I'm totally at the wrong fucking entrance. I just want to say that if I never get out of this car park alive, I love you guys. <laughs> um, where the fuck am I? Hello guys. So I'm home. Um, I've been home for a while. I actually came home with a screaming migraine um, after being at Chadston for a lot longer than I wanted to be um, so I took painkillers and now I'm like la 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 anyway um, so Chadston I really wanted to vlog there but my um, my camera died so I could not do that um, I went to the bank and I did my coin drop thing and I had a lot, there was a lot there, but when I got there, the coin counting machine wasn't working, and because they don't have standard tellers, um, who can like just weigh the coins and deposit them into my bank account, um, I had to wait, and I wasn't about to leave with all those coins because I couldn't carry them, I physically couldn't carry them, I had to make two trips to the car just to get them all. Um, so I waited, and I waited for about an hour before the machine was good to go. And that mm, pissed me off. I was really annoyed. Um, I went to Daiso, and they were fully stocked on puff and sponge cleanser. I also got some baby cotton tips, so that's great. Um, I got some partition board too uh, for my... Alex drawers, which I've been, I've got some, but I wanted more, um, and since I'm going to be moving into the garage, or moving, like, my beauty related stuff into the garage, um, I will probably get more Alex drawers, so, that will be, that will be handy, um, what else, I went to Kmart, looking for a bed spread, or like a Duna cover, they didn't have anything I liked, um, and they're all like really thin and I don't know, it wasn't really, I wasn't into it. Um, I prefer to spend extra money and get something really nice. Uh, I did go to Target as well, looking for a specific Duna cover that I wanted. I saw a photo on Instagram, someone, I can't remember who it was, someone posted on Instagram this beautiful, it was like white with a rose gold geometric pattern. Um, and I wanted it. Target had it. Um, well, Target's supposed to have it. They didn't have it at Chadston. Um, and it's not online. There is, uh, there's a different colour online. I just don't like the colour. I want the white and rose gold one. So that was annoying because the Trek to target at Chadston is like a fucking nightmare trek through the jungle. Dead set, it's just like, it was so bad. It's a really long walk from Kmart to Target, it's about a 15 minute walk. Um, and I just, it's really annoying. I will say about the Target store at Chadston, um, it's massive uh, which is good it's new so everything's beautiful and bright and shiny and lovely they've got a cafe in there um, if you want to go to Target I highly recommend looking at the um, the Chadston map and working out the car park that's closest to it and parking there because otherwise it's just it's an absolute prick to get to um, now, the trip to Target wasn't a total waste. If I hadn't found, 
I found something there that I want. I actually found two things. Um, if I hadn't found this one specific thing that I purchased, um, I would have been fucking fuming that I'd like walked all the way there. Now, if you watch my vlogs religiously or you've watched my first KonMari declutter, thank you, um, you might know that I'm looking for new coat hangers. And I wanted to get some that are like this, which is the one, like the type that I already have. So it's these metal ones, they've got like this rubberized plastic coating, and they've got these grooves in them. Um, I like the grooves, I like the rubberized coating. I could not find them anywhere online, I've not been able to find them in stores. But while I was looking online for them, and this is going back weeks and weeks, probably even two months, um, I discovered that there's such a thing as like rose gold coat hangers and the ones that I found were stunning but insanely expensive like we're talking I think they worked out to be about seven dollars per coat hanger I'm not gonna pay that I'm not an idiot um, but while I was at Target I found these so these are rose gold coat hangers with the groove and they're five dollars for a pack of five I bought 60 which is definitely overkill um, but I'm the type of person I would prefer to have more than I need rather than less or not enough um, I don't want to make another trip back to Target basically um, and look realistically they're they're fairly affordable um, on the packet, it actually says gold clothes hangers or gold, whatever, gold colour. But they have a rose tone to them. Um, they're beautiful. They're quite thick, surprisingly. They're thicker than a standard metal, like the che El Cheapo coat hangers. So I'm really happy with them. Um, yeah, very, very happy with them. Um... I also purchased something from NYX. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. So I wasn't actually intending to buy makeup, but I was feeling like I wanted to because I've been a little bit stressed out lately. Um, and I couldn't really see anything at NYX that I wanted, but this grabbed my eye just as I was about to leave. Um, it's the Butt Naked Turn the Other Cheek palette. I don't really care for the name um, but it is a two-part palette if I can get it open hang on there we go so on the top there are shadows and these are all neutrals uh, you've got a bunch of mattes and there's a mat up there that's a satin these are all shimmery um, this is nice I like this um, I'm keen to try it out I hate these goddamn foam applicators but whatever and on the bottom, if I can, yep, there we go. On the bottom, there's um, four blushes and four highlights. Now, I they didn't have a tester in the store. Um, otherwise, I probably would have skipped buying this. Um, these highlighters, and I don't know, yeah, you should be able to see there. Um, and some of the two of the blushes they look extremely sparkly and I'm not sure if um, that's just sort of like a bit of an overspray maybe like they might be a little duller underneath um, and not with that sort of larger glitter particle thing going on um, yeah, anyway, you know what I'm saying. I I would prefer it not to be super glittery, um, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Sorry, I'm just swatching this on my arm. Mm, um, it's, I don't know, will you be able to see? Maybe? No, probably not. Um... Anyway, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. We'll just, we'll give it a go. Um, I got home and there was packages. I got my Look Fantastic box. I'm going to try and film that tomorrow. 
I had an order from Beauty Bay show up and let's see what I've got here. I purchased two of the Nude Spectrum palettes. Um, one is for my best friend who recently had a birthday and I bought two brush sets. Um, I'll show you. This one is also for my friend. Um, she has mentioned a few times to me that she would like to learn how to apply eyeshadow, um, I suppose, with a little bit more skill than just whack it on there and go. Um, and we've talked about, like, her having or me giving her a few lessons um, quite a bit in the past and just never got around to it. So I thought I'll buy her a nice sort of set to get her started and then um, I'll give her some lessons. So there's just a basic brush set in there. I think it's a five piece brush set. Um, I didn't want to like, you know, get her a huge brush set and kind of confuse her. It's easier, um, you know, if you just have a little bit less to start out with because I don't know. I don't, I'll show you the brush set I got for myself and I might be able to explain a bit better. So I got a full eye set for myself. Um, now I know how to use all of these brushes and I know, you know, what's best for what usage, but I don't want her to look at brushes and go, oh, can I use this for this or what do I do with this one? I just didn't want it to be confusing for her because sometimes when things are confusing, um, it turns you off using them at all and you don't, like, you don't want makeup to be a stressful event. It should be fun when you're applying it. So I got her just a few um, to get her started and then if she decides that, you know, eyeshadow and application and tools is something that she's super duper into when she's ready to expand. She can. Um, and I, oh sorry, that's my, my phone went off and it's actually the bestie. Um, we're organizing catch up. So this set I bought for myself and I opened these up and I felt some of them. And dead set, these are not, um, they're not what I expected. Every time I watch a Zoeva brush review, ah, people are like, ah, oh, they're so soft. And they're not, they're really not. They're just not. So, um, yeah. For such expensive brushes, I expected a lot more. Um, don't be fooled, basically. What else did I buy myself? I bought these two. Um, why did I buy these? This one I bought because I've wanted it for a long time. I'd always intended to get it from Mecca. Um, it was on sale, so I purchased it. It was cheaper than buying it at Mecca. I am excited to have it. This one was also on sale. Um, I thought, hey, you know, whatever, let's give it a go. Um, so I got it and I also bought this and I was having a bit of a, a sneaky peek at this um, everything else I know what it looks like so uh, this is the coral spectrum blush palette from Zoeva something that surprised me about these is um, I know Zoeva palettes these spectrum ones have a sort of rubberized matte packaging. I didn't realize the box would also be rubberized and matte, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, so I got this. Let's open it. There we go. So yes, coral, coral blushes. These are, um, especially these two at the top, they're a lot brighter and a lot more pink in person than what they look like on the website so that's it's always a problem when you buy makeup online isn't it um, but yeah I got it I'm happy to, I've got it I get to try it out because I wanted to try it out so yeah I'm pleased with that um, final thing this came now 
This was a little crop top that I ordered for Kat's birthday from Rose Gal. Um, they didn't ship it with the rest of my order because they're idiots, but that's okay. Um, and they did charge me for second shipping of a package. Um, I won't say too much about that. I'm sure you already know what I think about that. Um, I won't wear this now uh, because it's a crop top and I'm 31. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hang on to it for like maybe summer um, like night wear, sleeping, sleeping in. Um, but I just, I don't think, like, these straps are stupid. Oh, let's, no, I'm not, I'm not taking that. I've decided that I am no longer answering phone numbers that I don't know because I'm on the do not call register, yet they always fucking call me. Okay, back to this. Um, I really would not recommend... Rose Gal clothing. Just don't do it to yourself. It's really bad quality um, and for the price it's just not worth it. I'm sure you'll be able to find a little Asian shop in your local town or city or whatever that sells really crap quality clothing for an insanely cheap price and um, you won't have to deal with the bullshit of Rose Gal which is pretty much everything. Um, I believe they they just make their clothes on the spot and ship it out to you. It's, um, yeah, it's crap. I won't buy from Rose Gal again, um, even if I just need a costume. <laughs> it's rubbish. All right, I'm going to turn you around. Look at my face. Um, I feel pretty rubbish, but I don't know. Gotta tidy my room. <laughs> so messy. Um, I'm gonna go like hang out washing, do another load of washing, tidy up my room, stuff like that. And yeah, I might check in again tomorrow. Hello guys! It's Tuesday and I am going to Target and Kmart again. Um, the reason I am doing this is because oh, I need storage tubs. I don't know if I talked about this in yesterday's car vlog footage. Um, bouncy camera, sorry, I'm going down a lane. Um, I need storage tubs and um, we sort of thought that we wouldn't get them until we were actually going to use them and then we discovered that we did have some stuff to use them for. So I'm going to get some right now. Uh, I will go to Kmart in Burwood for that. I'm going to go to Target in Camberwell. Um, and the reason I'm going to two different stores that are completely fucking miles apart from each other is because I don't want to go to Chadston. I don't want to have to walk between the stores at Chadston while carrying shit because that is just a nightmare. So... Instead, I will just drive and have some me time, which is nice. Um, I'm going to Target because I want to see if they have that bedspread that I want. Now, I'm kind of thinking maybe that photo that I saw on Instagram was someone just like taking a photo of a bedspread they bought months ago um, and it's completely irrelevant now because it's like no longer stocked. I don't know. That, that could be a thing, it might not be a thing, I don't know. I'll just, I'll go to Target and have a look. Um, what else happened yesterday? Nan had a fall. Um, I got a phone call from her. Oh God, this fucking traffic. I got a telephone call from her home number. Oh, mate, you're a fucking idiot. Um, I got a phone call from her home number and I did my whole, hi Nan, which is my typical like answer and um, 
there was a pause and then a guy was talking and he's like, oh no, sorry, it's not Nan. And it was someone from, um, like a paramedic from ambulance, the ambulance. Um, he said Nan had had a fall, but she was all right. Um, she didn't want to go to hospital and they thought that that was, like she was well enough to not go. So um, I went over and checked on her and she's all right. She's a bit sore today, but she will be okay. She didn't hit her head or anything. She fell on her knees and she was sort of sitting on her knees for a long time while she waited for the ambulance to show up. So um, her knees would be really sore today. Uh, and she just, like she couldn't get up. She couldn't get the leverage to get herself up off the floor. Um, I mean, she's 92. We get we get old and things stop being as easy as they once were. So that that was a thing that happened. She's actually going to go up to Sydney and spend some time with my uncle and his family. Um, so that will be, I suppose, good for her. Um, I think a, a little bit of change of scenery is good for everyone. So. Uh, yeah, that's that's that. And I also went and saw the mechanic about the car. He is going to take a look at it and try to fix it for us. I found it, but it's only in a king. Um, I'm going to see if they've got a queen in another store. Otherwise, I'm just going to buy the king and um, I might get a king blanket because I'm excessive like that. Good morning. It is Sunday. Uh, it's nearly 11 o'clock. I've been out for a while. You can see I've been in the shower. I wet my hair. I am currently using the last of my um, toning shampoo. This is by... Uh, I can't even remember. You'll see it in my empties. Um, but it's my favourite and I'm doing an intense tone to try and get my hair more on the grey scale than the blonde scale. Um, I am also wearing a face mask. It is, this, this is the Balance Me Radiance face mask. Um, it smells like, I don't know, it smells all like herbally and shit. I'm not really into that, um, but I figured give it a go, see what the results are like. If you like it, keep using it. Um, I am not very well at the moment. Um, I've got some sort of like cough um, and it's sort of it's progressing quickly I woke up with a tickle on my throat in my throat on Wednesday I think it was then Thursday it was worse um, Friday I developed a little bit of a like I suppose not chesty cough but like I suppose upper chesty cough or throaty cough um, and yesterday and today it's like breaking so that's um, that's a thing I suppose I don't I hate it when I get sick because I don't have time to be sick but this is the sort of sick I want to be if I'm gonna get sick because it doesn't prevent me from doing anything. It's just really fucking annoying. Kat and I filmed Beauty News on Friday night and um, I had a coughing fit before we started filming. So that was, that was really annoying, but we got through it. Um, guys, this week has been a fucking nightmare. So you would have seen on, I think it was Monday and Tuesday, <laughs> I was like, Kmart Target, Kmart Target, Kmart Target. Um, Wednesday, mum ended up in hospital overnight. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, she had a fall and it wasn't, it wasn't a really serious fall. Like she didn't break any bones. She didn't hit her head or anything like that. Um, she just went down on her back and because she's got back and neck injuries, um, it sort of, it made them worse. So she ended up with a lot of, um, inflammation and swelling and stuff like that. Lots of bruising. Um, and she's been in bed for no joke. It's been like we're coming up to the eight week mark. And the doctor said it's going to take about 12 weeks for the injury to 
start to heal properly. Um, but in that time, she's spent pretty much the whole time in bed. And because she's done that, um, she's actually developed fluid on the lungs. And it's kind of like, I believe it's meant to be like the beginning of um, pneumonia. It's all in her lower, like the lower part of her lung. And um, she was in serious, serious pain on Wednesday. So I took her to the hospital and they wanted to keep her in overnight because she hadn't been eating well. She'd lost weight. Um, they wanted to know if she had maybe a cracked or broken rib um, but because she was having like periods where she wasn't having pain we didn't think it was actual damage to her ribs we thought it was something else anyway Wednesday night or Wednesday sort of early early morning you know uh, two three o'clock in the morning um, she woke up in pain and she started to cough up fluid and this is kind of gross so if you don't if you can't deal with stuff like this just close the video or skip forward um, you know those vomit bags that they give you in hospital they're like a round plastic firm thing with like a long bag she coughed up almost a quarter like she filled a quarter of the bottom of it with fluid from her lungs so the doctors finally um, worked out what was going on because she had been laying down and not sort of working her lower lungs. She'd only been like shallow breathing for so long. Fluid had built up and it wasn't coming up. Um, and when she was actively working her lungs properly, um, the fluid started to break up and was released. So she's been put on strict instructions. She is not allowed to lay in bed anymore. It doesn't matter how much pain she is in. Um, if she continues to lay in bed, the fluid will continue to build and it will get worse. Um, so she's been up and about and improving, improving a lot. So that's a relief because I love my mummy and I don't like it when she's really sick like this. Um, and it scared me a bit on Wednesday when I saw like how unwell she was. And because it's, it's less than a year since dad died, when I was in that hospital and they were like, oh, she's got to stay in overnight. I was like, I swear to God. If she dies, I am going to come here and burn this hospital to the fucking ground. But she was alright, so no need to burn that hospital to the ground. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what's happening, or that's what was happening Wednesday um, and Thursday. Friday was a bit of a crazy day. Just so, so busy. And then on Saturday, the car broke down again on the freeway I had the most insane and this is not my new car this is the old car I had the most insane anxiety attack it was just like I felt sick I was literally praying to God now I don't I, I consider myself agnostic um, I believe in something but not the typical you know I don't follow the Bible or any specific religion I do wear a cross because that's sort of what I identify with the closest I suppose if that makes sense um, anyway I was literally praying to God I was like please God please just please help me I need to get out of this bad situation so it's like five o'clock in the morning and the car has broken down on the freeway and my nephews are actually driving in it and their car or my Jordan my oh god my nephew Jordan the eldest nephew he has his own car so he was driving his car while we were driving and he pulled over and mum and my two nephews went off to our destination and I stayed with the car until the incident response unit could come and take a look at the car so anyway the incident response guy did not take long at all props to City Links for that. I, I don't really like City Link. I think it's really expensive. Um, and the fact that their prices keep going up and up and up really shits me off. But their incident response people were on the ball. Um, he asked me to start the car so he could hear what was going on, thinking maybe he could do something to fix it. The fucking car started 
straight off the bat. I was so embarrassed. I was like, I swear to you, it wasn't, it wouldn't start. And I tried to start it so many times and it just would not start. But it started. So I drove to our destination and it did um, stall again. And I just waited because I thought, all right, this car is being temperamental. Um, I'm just going to wait and see if it will start again. It did. But since I didn't want to drive the, home, the car home again in heavy traffic on the freeway, um, we decided to have it towed. And um, we, the last time we had the car towed, I actually saved the phone number of the guy who towed our car. I called him again. He come and got us and it was actually cheaper because we went through him and not through the company so um, yeah I uh, I was really really appreciative of that the car is home I will be taking it to the garage on Monday I will absolutely not be taking it home or on any significant drives until I know it is fixed for sure um, so yeah, that's that's what's happened this week. It's been really crazy. What is that? What is that? Uh, it's been really crazy. Very, very stressful. Very stressful. I am really behind. How long have I been talking for? Ten minutes. Shit. Um, I'm really behind with like YouTube and stuff, which is annoying the shit out of me. This vlog was meant to go up on Saturday. It'll probably go up on Monday. I'll try and upload it tonight. Alright guys, so that's it for this week's vlog. I'm going to go jump in the shower and deal with all this stuff. Um, I hope your week was better than mine. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, yeah, that's it guys. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.